The town of Skinny Atlas in, uh, in February of 2006 established two committees, a Lake Monitoring Committee and an Aquatic Invasive Species Committee. The Aquatic Invasive Species Committee was concerned about all invasive species that might enter Skinny Atlas Lake. And the biggest issue for us was uh, uh, Eurasian water milfoil. Uh, we knew it was in the lake and we knew also that it was spreading fairly rapidly. We think that it probably got here like a lot of aquatic plants do, is attached to a trailer or a boat and, and uh, the boat has been in a different lake that had these uh, weeds in it and then it goes to, to Skinny Atlas for example and, um, and then when they back the boat in and launch it then the weeds get off into the lake. So a survey had been done in 2001 and it located 39 patches of milfoil in the lake. Uh, we repeated that same survey in 2006, and uh, that, that survey showed 111 patches, so it, uh, an almost a three-fold increase in the number of patches of milfoil. So the committee spun off a private corporation, a not-for-profit not uh, corporation called the Skinny Atlas Lake Milfoil Eradication Corporation. And the plan is to remove uh, by pulling milfoil up by the roots um, all the way around the lake. Now that seems like a, a huge job, uh, but they did it in Upper Saranac Lake and it was extremely successful. And what they did is they actually put divers down in the water with onion bags and the divers would reach down with their hands or with some tool and would pry the plant up, roots and all, and then stick the plant into the onion bag. And they continued that process until they, they got the did the whole lake. So that was our plan here and we started that this summer. But we acquired three pontoon boats <clears throat> and we attached on each one uh, a, a pump that pumps water up into the boat itself and then attached to the pump are air compressors and uh, we, we send two divers down uh, at a time. Uh, they're each attached to the air compressor so they're not using uh, the typical scuba tank. Uh, and then the, uh, the larger water pump uh, is attached to a four-inch hose that is tethered between the divers as they as they dive. As they scoop up the milfoil, instead of sticking it directly into an onion bag, they simply have to pop it in that hose, and that draws it up into the boat itself, where it's captured in onion bags, which are tied at the other end of the of the hose. What we've discovered this year is that the estimated sizes of the patches in 2006 are in fact now um, larger quite a bit larger. But if we can knock it down substantially this year, we'll finish the job next year and and then make another pass the year after that and we'll, we'll get it suppressed. It may not be done in one or two years, it may take three or four, but I think we can get it done.